Hi and welcome. I am joined once again with Michelle Hamilton from Beyond Balance. And earlier in the first hour, we kind of got into a little bit. We just kind of skimmed the surface of what EMDR is. And we kind of want to continue that conversation because it's very important and it's a, a very helpful tool that maybe not many people know is available to them. So um, we kind of talked about uh, the process of what it is. Mm -hmm. And uh, now we kind of want to talk more about um, how it's effective and what kind of traumas can be used. And maybe we can kind of just start there. Okay. Yeah. Well, for one thing, I want to emphasize that EMDR is, is a form of therapy, a psychotherapy that involves specific training. Mm -hmm. So you, you can't take the training for EMDR unless you have at least a master's degree and a special, mm. you know, a high level of, of qualification in terms of being a mental health professional. Mm -hmm. There are a few therapists in the Lloydminster area that offer EMDR. I'm not the only one, but mm -hmm. there aren't that many. Mm -hmm. um, I wish that more doctors and, and, uh, and healthcare professionals were aware of EMDR so that they knew to refer their patients who are suffering, mm -hmm. especially from a, an incident or from disturbance related to an incident in the past. Yeah, okay. because you're a big advocate for this. Um, you find it is super beneficial. And I would say that um, because of this, you may not need as many like anxiety medications or things like that, right? Yeah. Because it kind of is just your own body um, rewiring itself is kind of exactly that. right like I, I like the way you put that because really I do think that what EMDR therapy and other forms of therapy really attempt to do is create change mm -hmm. in the nervous system and in the brain mm -hmm. okay which is is meant to help people you know make sense and digest mm -hmm. the impact of an experience mm -hmm. okay and I like the metaphor of digestion to help understand how EMDR works. Yeah. Just like our body, our guts, and our, our digestive system works, mm -hmm. breaking things down and absorbing what we need and getting rid of the rest, same thing in the mind, in the brain, okay? Mm -hmm. And so EMDR activates an information processing system mm -hmm. because traumatic events overload our Absolutely. system and cause memories to be stuck and sometimes the heightened sense of disturbance or distress yeah. that people feel when they think about the memory is an example of how sometimes it's not stored right. the same way as other memories from the past. Absolutely. Yeah. So with this, um, how many process? How many times would you have to go for someone? How how long does it take for this to kind of start taking effect? Well, I'm really glad you asked that because I want to emphasize it isn't just a you know you come in the first day and okay here we go right, and I yeah. start waving fingers in front of people's eyes. No. There's quite a, an important process, first of all, of me doing a pretty thorough assessment with mm -hmm. the client to know what kind of history they have of trauma. Mm -hmm. If it's a simple trauma, that means we think of simple trauma as one incident mm -hmm. that happened and it's over. And that's all that's disturbing this person. person. EMDR can potentially be done, let's just say even within, say, four or five sessions. Mm. And people can find really significant results. Mm -hmm. Many people have a more complicated package of a trauma history, right. so it isn't so clear as one incident. Yeah. And that requires a more complicated or a bit more of a, a process of preparation, mm -hmm. okay? And so in all cases though, getting comfortable and developing a rapport with the therapist, yeah. teaching some basic skills for self-regulation and calming first mm -hmm. is part of what we consider the preparation stage for EMDR. Mm -hmm. And then when it's r the client is ready, we, we may at that point begin to do processing of the trauma memories. Right, and with each, uh, because everyone has a different experience, different uh, trauma per se, is there different ways, like is it a different um, movement or is it all kind of like within the same, um, I don't know how I would word this, uh, the same, because uh, it's a movement, the eyes and okay. your hands. So is it, if someone has a bigger traumatic experience, is there different uh, talking techniques that you have to go through as well during the process, things like that? Well, I mean, let me first start by saying that it's not always eye movements that mm -hmm. we use. We do try to activate the brain and we, we call it bilateral stimulation. So mm -hmm. eye movement is one way. And for many therapists, we also make use of either tapping Okay, or, or sometimes even a device which I use is called an audio tac device mm -hmm. and it provides electronic stimulation left ah. and right to the brain. Yep. Okay, but then there's a lot of creative ways of using EMDR, although there is pretty st standard protocols that we stick to. Mm -hmm. In terms of how we focus the person on the memory of the past mm -hmm. while also helping keeping that help 
helping to keep them connected in the present, mm. okay? So we do this back and forth, dual awareness, past, uh -huh. present. Here we are together, oh, past, back to the memory, back yeah. to the present. Interesting. This We could talk about this forever, but yep. um, that is all the time we have, okay. unfortunately. But uh, if you are interested in EMDR, I highly recommend looking into it yeah. and even coming to you and have some questions because I feel like you're our go-to for this, for sure. So thank you so much for coming thank in you. and talking to us about this. And uh, yeah, we enjoy, we enjoy you coming in every time. Thank you so yeah. much. No problem. Thanks.